I'm Cal Fasanella from VileCal.com, and I'm a Steadicam operator. So on this episode of IndieMogul.com, I'll be telling you about becoming a professional Steadicam operator and working with one. Before the invention of the Steadicam by Garrett Brown, cameras not on tripods were never steady. I just lied. Before a Steadicam can be flown, it must be perfectly balanced. All right. Before you can even start to fly a steady cam, it first must have a lower center of balance. Now, I can describe to you this with a simple bowl. Say I try to balance this bowl on my finger, it's uh, most likely going to fall right off. But if you flip that same bowl over, it starts to have a lower center of gravity. Now what this does is it allows it to be much more easy to balance, like so. And you can see this exact this motion, the weight pretty much pulling down directly towards the ground, brings the camera up, exactly up in an upward position. The first part of the study cam is the vest. Now the vest is essentially your controller to how the camera moves parallel to the ground. So if I lean left, the camera moves left. If I lean right, the camera moves right. The arm on the study cam helps reduce the bob created by walking. One of the main things you have to practice for as a Steadicam operator is the pendulum swing caused by the movement of the Steadicam. For instance, if you go from a standstill motion to forward, the camera is naturally going to move itself backwards. Now, same thing, if you're moving forward and you stop, the camera itself is going to continue to move forward because of the momentum. So it's your hand on the center post that compensates for this pendulum swing. Depending on how much pressure you apply to the part of the center post, you can make it look as if there's no swing whatsoever in the shot. So now let's see this thing in action with some basic steady cam positions. This is called missionary position. It's when the operator is moving forward along with the camera which is also pointing forward. This next position is called Don Juan. It's when the operator is moving forward but shooting behind him. Now a lot of operators hate shooting in telephoto modes because it amplifies the amount of movement caused by the steady cam. Here's an example of the HVX200 fully zoomed in. Notice the edges of the frame and how much movement there is compared to the wider shots we took earlier. I can jump up and down right now. The camera kind of stays in place. Of course it's still going to be affected. Now that's another important thing to remember is every motion on your body, including your heartbeat, is going to affect how that shot looks. Sometimes when you're going up and down stairs on a steady cam, it's necessary to have a spotter. Otherwise, you could die a horrible, brutal death of metal and flesh. So now comes the painful part. You want to become a steady cam operator. How much are you going to spend? Well, the rig I showed you today is the Steadicam Flyer, and it goes for about $8,000 total. Remember, the batteries alone cost about $1,500. So here's a quick clip so you can see my footage in action. Well, if it isn't Xander. Well, if it isn't Mr. Kickflip for Christ himself. Go back to where you came from, you damn fetal excrement! I just wanted you to know that I was the stripper you slept with last Friday. Oh shit, I just killed someone. 